dudes are coming in. Sorry about that. Okay, dude. No. What's your name, dude? Cat Von D. You're Cat Von D? Yes. You're really Cat Von D. Of course. Really? In studio, Cat Von D. Wow, finally Cat Von D is in the studio. We've had you. How's the whole relationship thing going out for you working out? Yeah, he's a little bit of an old guy, but it's, it's working out. Because he's better. So what are you here for? Hey, Joe. I was, I was sorry. On this show? On this show. And what do you want to do? Answering phones. Answering phones. Any, I want to I just get on the show and then learn about radio. Well, as you've already seen, because you've be been here for a little bit in the green room, right? right? The illusionist doesn't know how to do anything. He's, did, you, did you gather that? Yeah, he's, 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 a little, terrible. he's a little jumbled, fucking terrible. He's fucking terrible. He's fucking he's terrible. All right. No, he's an he's accident, accidental genius. <laughs> but he's fucking terrible at his job. Right. Oh, now, he, look, now he's showing off trying to answer a phone. Congratulations, illusionist. You answered a phone. I didn't think you really got pissed at him, but now being in the studio out here in the green room, I can tell that your frustration is definitely real. No, I'm not joking. Yeah. Fuck that guy. <laughs> fuck everybody. Right. Fuck Cal, fuck him for being sick, and fuck illusion for not answering phones, and just fuck off. So, where do you live? I live out in uh, What's your Valencia. So, you want to be an intern? Oh, well, yeah. you want a job. Uh, you have to be an intern an first, intern, right? right? Intern first, yeah. Prove yourself. An intern first and prove Do you your, finger prove, yourself? Prove your talents. I don't. Is that a, is that a qualification? A prereq? Fingering yourself is, is going to get you uh, places around. Why is that? What's the fingering yourself? What is that? I don't know. Does that the put you over on it? I don't know. Because it just made it. him very amusing to me that he fingers his own ass. <laughs> Hello, you're on the Ellis Show with Cat Von D. Cat, yeah, you're doing pretty good for your first time on the radio, yeah, my pre- friend. I uh, appreciate that. Good luck, Cat. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> You can get coffee. What else can you do? Is that why you call it Little Coffee Foot? She's gone. She didn't right. do anything else. Yeah. She did a poor job, actually. Really? Didn't answer the phones. It didn't, you know I mean? Sometimes we did World's Greatest Wednesday. She would forget some nominees. See, I kind of felt like that was going on behind the scenes. So yeah. That's why I feel that there could be an opening for some improvement. Oh, no, there's definitely... Not, there's not no, to claim that... You know, no, there's some big things that are about to go down with the Alice Made Show. Right. We're going to be expanding, and heads will roll if they have to. I don't... I don't... You know, I'm, I'm not loyal to anyone. Fuck everybody. If you fuck up, you're fired. Simple as that. I'm good with that. I don't feel that I'm going to fuck up. The illusionist no, I, I'm fucks up every day. Well, he's not fired. Yeah, because the illusionist f- fucks up in an amusing way. <laughs> what? You're not on. Yeah, what? I'm trying to improve, man. I'm trying not to fuck up the show so much. I think I've gotten a lot better since I started out. Do you really? I think so, yeah. yeah he does a good job. We're hanging in the green room. He's, I'm talking to him, talking zero off, and he's answering the phone. You're talking so to Cat Von D and answering the phones? Yeah. But yeah. I've told Illusionist in the privacy and on the air that if Illusionist sticks with this and, and rides this, this show with passion, I will take him to Gloryville. It's quite an offer. You need to keep it. It is passion. quite an offer. Are you, take, are you taking the offer? I'm he sticking is. around here, aren't I? He is. He's, I like him. He's feisty. He's got an attitude. See that? Yeah. He barked at <laughs> you right there. He didn't say, he didn't no, say he yes. He back. So fuck, I'm standing here, aren't I, <laughs> motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> He's got an attitude. I like your attitude. Especially when it's towards me. Mitch is a possible uh, future intern. Are you looking to take out the illusionist, or are you looking to just be a part of the family? Part of the family. I'm not, I don't want to butt heads. I don't want to take anybody out. I think you've got an angle. I mean, you can fit in there. You're not like the rest of us, and that's what we're looking for. We don't need another illusion or a cow fucker or any of that kind of stuff. We need someone who's got their own thing. Yeah, I feel like I bring a good personality to the show, also behind the scenes. Behind the, the scenes? Hard, put in the hard work, get it done. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Mitch, we want to give Mitch a job. <coughs> I want we to don't get, have any money. Give I want to give Mitch a job. job. Yeah, uh, Mitch, Mitch, you're hired. And if Mitch wants to work here for free, he can come in. And Anybody who wants a free job here, hmm. get me, in. get me a coffee. I need two coffees a day. Yeah. And if there's any porn stars in here, you mean they can do stuff to them because I can't. That is actually probably the compensation. You should give it to him. Cool. I think the girls would let him fondle them too. How do you feel about this, uh, a possibility of going to this mall and checking out this fight? I just I mean, talked to, there's a caller that I was just talking to that's at the, uh, are you talking about the Westfield, the Affliction? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you go there? I definitely would. And ask him, ask the fighters some questions? Yeah. I wonder if you'd be allowed to do that. It'd be pretty gnarly if you could get, uh, Fedor Emelianenko. If you could get Fedor, get a question off Fedor, that'd be pretty funny. Is he, can he even there. speak English? We'll find out. I mean, I'll, I'll, I would go He's down pretty Russian. Down. I mean, they're not going to beat me up in front of everybody. You're right. No, they can't. Yeah. Should I let Sydney. bitch? I shouldn't let bitch chocolate call Tim. Tell Tim Silver he has a gun, huh? I was just wondering what? if it's too late to get like a like a belt, a gun like a belt, championship gun belt. To- Any man that goes up to Tim Silver and gives him a belt for the greatest, gu- the heavyweight gun 
MMA champion of the world. I'm you're back. you're awesome. How far? How long until it's over? It, it just it just started. The press conference just started. Um, but then they're going to do autograph signings afterwards too. So they'll be there for like an hour or two hours at least. Yeah, yeah, at least. Yeah, like dude, I'm telling like Fedor's here. Uh, Fedor's there. Josh Barnett, uh, Tim Sylvia. Can we get Bitch Chocolate down there? Has, has he got a cart? Yes. Yeah. Do you feel like doing that, Bitch Chocolate? I'll do it. Definitely. I got the uh, I got the recorder ready to go. Am I representing the Jason Ellis show? Yes. While asking questions? Yes. All right. Uh, bitch Chocolate standing by live at Westfield Mall. Have you done any interviews? No, not yet. I'm only totally putting on all kind of quick. I'm just doing a media check-in right now. I media check-in. And Sirius yeah. has obviously made your connection where media check-ins covered. Yeah, I'm at the media connection. I got my packet and everything. I'm going in right now, though. There's a lot of, there's a lot of people here. And you said, you did, you said, you're, doing, you said you're doing interviews for Sirius Satellite Radio? Yeah, I did. For the Jason Allen Show. You said yeah, the Jason Allen Show? I got a name tag and everything. I'm official. I'm with the press. Dude, he's good, Cal Yeah, that, uh, that's impressive. And we're impressed over here already. I mean, oh, you, you can pretty much just get back in the car. And leave him. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on, I gotta get some interviews. I'll, 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 I'll tell you now, you were not credentialed for this. No, yeah, we didn't call anybody. You were in the process, Wait, you were in the process of bum rushing this. Yeah, thing. you just bum rushed, you champion. <laughs> All right, good luck. All right, bitch chocolate, manhandling some shit. Bitch chocolate, the intern for the Jason R show. Recently went down to uh, some the Westfield, whatever it is. Where'd you go? Which is on the Westfield Mall. It was a mission. Why don't you talk a little louder, dude? The Westfield Mall. That's right. You went uh, to the Westfield Mall. Yeah. You, did you speak to Tim Sylvia? I didn't get to talk to him. Oh. He's like, by the time I had gotten there, like it was pretty much all wrapped up. Yeah. I mean, it was all set up for like press interview and everything. Yeah. They had like their their whole deal going on. Um, and what happened? I got in there. The last, the only guy who was left was uh was Theodore. And I went to go talk to him, but he was like, he was like rushing out with like two other people at the time. He's a pretty mean looking mofo too. Do you have any video footage of you and Fedor Emelianenko? Negative. You don't have anything? I have a, uh, I have a bio packet. That's it? And a, and a name, uh, press name. That's all you got. Tag. That's all I have. That's it? Yeah. Look at, go away. Unbelievably. Let's hope somebody fingers themselves in the ass right now. It wasn't my fault. No, I don't think it is. Um, so you guys are both mad at me? No, I just want you to put. A vote. I just want you to give yourself a vodka or enema, and then breathalyze yourself. It's not going to happen. But why is it not going to happen? I thought you maybe. wanted to be a part of the Jason Allen show. I'm not that diehard. I'll drive two hours to go on a mission to interview Tim Sylvia about his gun. Oh, you'll go to the mall. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Thanks. We really need a team player that'll go to the mall. 